Beetlejuice, a star in Orion, is acting weird. It might blow up and turn into a supernova, lighting up our sky like never before. When will that happen, and what will it look like? Scientists think it could show us some cool stuff. Let's look at what's going on with Betelgeuse and what it might do to Earth and the solar system. Betelgeuse is about 650 light years away in Orion, and it's not just any star. It's a red supergiant, super bright, like 100,000 times brighter than our sun. It's important because it's super bright and also shows up in a lot of stories. It got its name Hand of Orion from Arabic and has been around for centuries, directing travelers. Think of a star so big it could swallow our solar system. Betelgeuse may be only 10 million years old, but its huge size makes it burn through fuel quickly, so it won't last as long as our sun. It's getting close to the end and is ready for a big finish, a supernova explosion that sends out crazy energy and brightness. The last time Earth saw something like this was in 1604 with Kepler's supernova. You could see it in daylight for weeks. Supernovas like Betelgeuse are not everyday stuff, but what's left behind teaches us a lot about how big stars live and die. Astronomers are excited and can't stop talking about Betelgeuse. From late 2019 to early 2023, it got super dim and everyone noticed. By April 2023, it seemed to come back, but then it got 50% brighter in the months after. It's led to questions like, is it about to blow? It's acting weird is a sign that a huge explosion is coming. But why did it get brighter and dimmer? What's with Betelgeuse doing that? Stars aren't just twinkly dots way up high. They shift, change, and have their own life cycles full of mystery. Most stars change their brightness on a regular basis, just like Earth has different seasons. Betelgeuse usually has a 400-day pattern to its brightness, but it seemed to go off the rails, making us rethink what we know about what's in the sky. Now, are we about to see something huge? The actual reason Betelgeuse changes its brightness is still being studied. One idea is that it's like a giant space volcano that suddenly burped out a lot of stuff. The Hubble Space Telescope spotted Betelgeuse throwing a ton of stuff off its surface. It was like 400 billion times the amount of mass that our sun releases normally. This could have made a dust cloud around the star, making it harder to see. When the dust cloud went away, that could explain why it went back to being bright. It's clear that there is still more to come from the star. A lot of people think Betelgeuse is getting close to its end. A supernova is a crazy explosion, a burst of energy that can outshine a galaxy for a moment. It happens when something changes in the core of a star. That might be from a star sucking up too much stuff from another star. Or, like with Betelgeuse, it could be from running out of fuel, causing it to collapse in on itself. Stars like Betelgeuse start making energy by squashing hydrogen atoms. As the years go on, the hydrogen runs out, things change, and the star finds new fuel. In Betelgeuse's case, after hydrogen, it might start heating helium to make carbon and oxygen, making it a red giant. Eventually, helium goes away too, and it goes through other cycles with, with progressively heavier elements. When iron starts to form at the core, things get nuts. Iron doesn't release energy when squeezed, so there isn't enough power to push back against the star's gravity. The star caves in. It causes a big rebound, creating a big explosion called a supernova. New research says Betelgeuse might be burning carbon right now. Researchers figure it might blow up a few decades after it burns up all its carbon. But some think it might still be burning helium. Whatever it is, scientists agree that Betelgeuse is going to be the next supernova in the Milky Way. It's hard to guess when that will be, though. It could be in a few decades or even 100,000 years. While scientists talk about what Betelgeuse will do, here's one thing to ponder. When we look up at the stars, we are seeing slight paradox that we don't really consider. Because stars are so far, it takes light a long time to get to us. Even though light travels super fast, it still takes time to get to Earth. So, when you're looking at Betelgeuse, you're looking at how things were 650 years ago. Explorers like Marco Polo were making their mark in history. Looking at Betelgeuse is like looking at a cosmic time capsule. 
If Beetlejuice already blew up in a supernova, we wouldn't even know it for another 650 years. So, while we are talking about it maybe going supernova, an explosion might have already happened. We're just sitting here waiting for the light to travel through space until it gets to our telescopes. The news about Beetlejuice reminds people of another supernova that happened earlier this year, SN 2023-9. The new supernova showed up in a galaxy next to the Milky Way, which is like what happened in our cosmic past. SN 2023-9 was far away and still very bright. What made it a bit uncanny was how similar it was to what people figure Beetlejuice will do. Its intensity and the consequences of the explosion offered clues about what happens to super big stars near the end. To some people, thinking about the similarity of SN 2023-9 to Betelgeuse is preview of what to expect. The similar nature of these two cosmic happenings shows just how connected things are in our universe. Whether it's a nearby star like Betelgeuse or a super big supernova like SN 2023-9, it's cool to see how space is evolving. Outer space has a lot of mysteries, especially when it comes to red supergiants like Betelgeuse. They are bright and mysterious and hold deep truths in the vastness of space. We have a basic idea of the life cycle of red supergiants, but there are still some uncertainties. Observations show they go through big changes, but details are hazy, leading to questions and conversations. These stars can throw a bunch of stuff off. The mechanisms is still mostly unresolved. Betelgeuse's changes only add to the ambiguity. What happens if Betelgeuse goes supernova? One scientist thinks that when Betelgeuse finally blows, it's going to be super bright, even brighter than some planets. Even being far away, its brightness might be close to the moons. Night might seem like day for a few weeks or months. This would continue for weeks or months. Then, over years, what's left of the star would turn into a planetary nebula. Scientists are measuring what it would do to Earth. One idea is that a blast could send cosmic rays, the energetic particles moving in space that bump into space stuff, ionizing it and leaving a trail of charged particles. If these particles come toward Earth, they may interact with our magnetosphere, resulting in brilliant auroras. But would it harm Earth? Luckily, Betelgeuse is far enough away that everything would likely be absorbed by our atmosphere, making our planet safe. The explosion shouldn't hurt Earth, but it will lead to discussions and research. Besides science, the explosion of the star would shape human culture. The sky has been long observed, and after a change, it could make us think more about time and our spot in the universe. It's a reminder of how short life is and how we've still got more to learn. When we consider that Betelgeuse could go supernova, it's not just the explosion itself, but also what it means to astrophysics. Supernovas are like space labs, allowing scientists to check on how stars change. When Betelgeuse explodes, it will scatter things like carbon, oxygen, and iron outward. These materials give birth to new stars, planets, and life. These explosions help enrich space and are useful for future stars and planets. What remains from a supernova makes shockwaves that compress gas and dust and gives birth to stars. This is just one interconnected piece of our universe. Also, Betelgeuse's explosion could help us learn more about gravitational waves. When stars fall, they can make small ripples that jiggle space. The waves were found not that long ago and offer a new way to look at space stuff. Also, the cultural effects cannot be overlooked. A supernova will probably spur questions about our role in the universe. Such a display might spark public interest in the space. As we watch what goes on with Betelgeuse, we are looking at the life cycle of a supergiant. These stars burn fuel fast, which ends with them collapsing and booming. However, predicting precisely when this happens is a challenge. The star's recent oddities make it harder. Betelgeuse going supernova would be a big event. Not just for being big, but for what we can learn. It would let us see different cosmic things. One exciting thing has to do with the neutrinos made during collapse. Neutrinos are hardly there, which makes them hard to see. But if there's a nearby supernova, it could show us how these things function in space. Furthermore, an explosion could affect space around it, making planets and stars. 
Material thrown out by Betelgeuse would help elements blend, creating elements in different bodies. While the explosion will probably not hurt because of its distance, the event could spark scientific exploration, philosophy, and the arts. The event may spark deep questions about humanity's spot. The event may serve as action for worldwide collaboration. In conclusion, Betelgeuse's explosion is more than just science. This is the kind of event that will reshape what we know and the way we come to see space.